Hello, I'm going to talk about the life-changing magic of tidying up. The thing I wanted to focus on today was a little bit of rule breaking again. I'm jumping out of the Komono slash miscellaneous category and I'm moving into the Memento category. And the reason I'm doing this, aside from just being a, a general rule breaker, is uh, yesterday I attended a funeral for my great aunt who was also my godmother. She was kind of an Auntie Mame character and I know that everybody says this about uh, deceased relatives, she'll be greatly missed, but she really will. I came home from work today and decided to take a look through my mementos, but I didn't purge much. And the reason for that is twofold. I moved from New York to Pennsylvania in 2009. In preparation for the move, I did a good deal of purging. And once I returned to Pennsylvania, I also did a good deal of purging and I got rid of quite a stack of childhood teenage mementos, diaries, letters from former boyfriends. I read through a lot of them before I got rid of them and most of them were horrifically embarrassing. So I was only too glad to be rid of them. I have a box of mementos here and one box of mementos at my parents' house. That would probably make Marie Kondo scream, but the reason that box is there it's a box of mementos from my childhood, but they are maybe things that I made, uh, things that I've written. My mother wants to hold on to those. So I either have to try to sneak them out of the house or I will just cross that bridge when the time comes. So the only thing I can do really is focus on what I have in my home that I can go through. And that's what I did. One of my tricks regarding cards that people give me, I will keep probably the most recent year or two, unless it's a card in which uh, someone wrote a really lovely passage or sentiment, I'll hold on to that. Um, I have one card from when I was seven, my grandfather wrote in it, so that I wouldn't get rid of that because he's, deceased. I'll never get another card from him. And even though it's not recent, it's the only one I have from him where he wrote a message to me and it's in his handwriting. Other things I'll hold on to that Marie probably would tell me to purge. Three address books. I Everything that's in my phone or on my computer, I don't really need these. But more than these being paper, which is how maybe most people would say address books are, Oh, that was weird grammar. To me, these address books are actually mementos. This little guy was with me for my last few years of university and several years into uh, my first move to New York City. So this little guy has gone from central Pennsylvania to England to New York City. It's staying with me. It's teeny weeny. It's not taking up a lot of room. And it really makes me smile when I look at the names in here and addresses and phone numbers. But the reason that I don't feel badly about holding on to these items is because I actually don't have a ton of mementos. I have a yearbook from my senior year at my house. I might have two more at my parents' house and I actually am ready to purge those. But all of my mementos, aside from that yearbook, and aside for those, from those things that I mentioned that my mother is holding on to, all of my mementos, including these three rotten address books, fit into this piece of Tupperware. It's a box. Because everything fits in here, I feel like, for me, the memento category is done. I do purge cards, letters uh, almost annually, maybe every year and a half to two years. So I keep on top of it. I feel like it's a category that I sort of finished before I even started. I think everybody tends to think of mementos as being a very difficult category, and, and it is. But that's not to say that for some people, clothing could be more difficult than mementos. Everybody views material items and objects differently. 
And what strikes a chord for me is probably something that you could just throw in the trash. And then, you know, me throwing away a Christmas card from my parents will probably make someone else just shudder in horror. So the point, I don't know, what is the point of all this? The point of this is just to find a simple life. And I also think that, you know, at the end of my life, when someone's going through my possessions, I hope that as they handle each of these items, that they get a sense that they can say, wow, you know, she loved all of these things. And I think we all have to think about that. We have to be okay with recognizing that as much as certain things are near and dear to our heart and we want to like just cling to them, once we go, none of this crap comes with us. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.